Hi, Bonnie Barker here with BonnieBayCrochet.com and this is video number three for the Aaron Hearts Throw Crochet Along. Okay, this next section um, we were going to begin the diamond pattern, but before we do, I want to show you what we should have. Okay, I'm going to show you we have the, your air row rows, your low front ridges on both sides of that. We have eight rows of popcorn you should have completed. And I gave an additional assignment of repeating rows two through, let's see, where is it? Okay, rows two through nine again. And this would be for rows 26 through 33. I wouldn't um, try not to get too bogged down with uh, the numbers of these rows. I know it can be cumbersome, but if you think of it more in sections like the arrow section or the popcorn section, that you might find that a lot easier. Um, now for the diamond pattern, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to single crochet it all the way across in each stitch. Now let me say something about this. We already have one row of single crochet which is from the second row of the low front ridge. This is going to do double duty for us in a sense. This is also going to count for our first row of the diamond pattern. And as we get into this pattern you'll understand what I'm saying because once we have three rows of single crochet then we do the row which will have the trebles that actually form the, 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 diamond, um, the diamond patterns. So right now what we need to do is we're only going to have to add two rows since we're coming off of this low front ridge. Okay, so we are going to single crochet in each stitch across. We're going to do that twice. We're going to, um, we're going to single crochet all the way down and then we're going to single crochet all the way back and I'm going to go ahead and and do those two rows now and then I will be back to show you the more complicated row which is really not hard but you do have to be precise about it okay I'll be back okay now that we have rows 34 and 35 completed which were just single crochet across not working in the turning chain make sure you didn't work in the turning chain now we're going to begin row 36 which is the row that's going to establish the diamond like pattern we're going to chain one and 30 row 36 zip with the right side facing make sure that you have the right side up you're going to single crochet in the first stitch the first single crochet now we're going to get ready to do a treble as we do this uh, let me read specifically it says uh, we're going to front post treble crochet around the fourth single crochet three rows below. So here's the first row, second row, the third row, which was also the second row of the low front ridge. Now we want to get the fourth single crochet in that row. Here's the first, second, third, and the fourth. So make sure you count this end stitch as one. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to do a post stitch where we actually wrap the hook around the body of the stitch. We pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We've completed our first treble crochet. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to skip the next stitch, which was this stitch right here. And then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to work a front post treble crochet right beside the stitch down on this row. We're going to, the one that we just worked in was here. So we're going to work our next treble crochet right next to it and it's going to be a front post so we wrap our hook around that little stitch and we complete our treble crochet. Now we're going to skip two stitches here one two we're not going to work in those and down below we're going to skip four stitches on the on the bottom row here one two three four we're going to skip those and we're going to treble crochet around the fifth, just like so. Remember, we skipped one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, 
three, four. Now we're going to repeat that all the way across. We're going to do a treble crochet right next to this stitch, which we're going to put right here. A front post treble crochet, let me be clear about that. Then we're going to get it ready. We're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to treble crochet in the next stitch. This is down below. And you can kind of see the pattern coming out now. Skip two, one, two. Then we're going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can see the pattern that's starting to come out. Let me do this one more time and then I'm going to complete the row. So we look for the last one. We're going to front post treble and the stitch right next to it. Count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to treble in the fifth stitch there. Skip two, one, two, and then we crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let me finish this row and then I'll come back to you. Now for the last stitches of this row, I'm going to treble crochet right next to the last treble crochet and that single crochet it's a front post treble. I'm going to skip this one stitch and I'm going to single crochet in the last stitch. Okay so let's take a look at this. So this is like one half of the diamond that's going to be in our pattern in this section. All right now the next thing we're going to do rows 37 38 and 39, that's three more rows, are just going to be straight single crochet. So we are going to chain one, I'm going to turn my work, and I'm going to single crochet, single crochet in each stitch across. Again, do not work in the turning chain. So single crochet in each stitch across. You're going to do that for three rows. And then we will do the next row that will complete the rest of the diamond. Okay, I've just finished working rows 37 through 39, which were the single crochet rows, just straight single crochet across. So that would be one row, two, three, three rows there. Okay, now I'm going to chain one. We're going to begin uh, row 40. And I want to be careful to explain there, there's a slight discrepancy in this uh, from the pattern itself. Okay, we are going to single crochet the first three stitches. One, two, three. Now we are going to, to front post treble in the stitch, which is one, two, it's actually the third stitch over, and it's the stitch that's directly above this last treble, like so. Okay, now we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and we're going to treble around, front post treble, around the single crochet that's just above this stitch here, like so. Okay, and just like we did any other row, we're going to skip these two, and we're going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to continue that across the row. Um, the stitch, which is right above the front post treble, it's also right next to the last stitch that we did. We're going to treble around that. And then we're going to skip the four down here, one, two, three, four. And we're going to treble around this next stitch again, which is right above that treble crochet. See, so once you get this started correctly down here on this row, the rest of these come together pretty well, but you still got to know what you're doing and where you're putting your stitches. Okay, now we're going to skip these two and four stitches across. Let me get some more yarn. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to treble down here, which is right above this stitch. 
You should see the diamonds pattern coming out very well when we count one, two, three, four, and then we're going to treble there again, right on top of that front post treble. And skip two, one, two, and then we're going to single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way across the row. <clears throat> As we do this, I want to show you the edges, which may look a little scary to you. Um, the edges here, um, the tendency is and you can almost see this happening here, is are these stitches, the diamond stitches are going to be slightly wider and look like they're you know, protruding a bit um, as compared to, let's say, the popcorn stitches. Um, this is normal. Um, if it's really, really bad, you're going to want to go down to a smaller hook size. But if it's just slight, like mine is, I wouldn't worry too much about it because when we finish this afghan uh, throw, we are going to go all the way around it with the perimeter row, and then we're going to put an edging of woven stitch across the bottom, and that's going to really equal out any discrepancies that you may see right now. But do be, be careful that as you follow through the pattern with me that you change the hook size at the appropriate times because that will make a big difference. Okay, I'm going to finish this row and then I will show you the ending of it. Come all the way to the end and we're going to do another treble in the single crochet which is right next to the last treble and it's right above the treble here and we're going to skip four down here, one, two, three, four and we're going to put a treble right there. I just wanted to show you where that goes. If you're not sure, you know, you can kind of eyeball it to know where the diamond should be formed. Okay, then we're going to skip one, two stitches here, and we're going to single crochet in the last three stitches of the row. Okay, now this is the end of row 40. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to repeat these rows. It's kind of important if you can get a copy of the pattern so you can keep track of, of um, what you're doing. That is available at www.redheart.com. Um, you can look up Aaron Hart's Throw and it should bring the pattern or, or the link to the link um, right up on their site. Um, and I also have it written, the link, um, on the video description. Okay, now this is the next step. We are going to, for rows 42 through 57, repeat rows 34 through 41 twice. Let me try to simplify that so you don't get caught up in the numbers. What we are going to do is we are going to do three more rows here of the single crochet, and then we will repeat this row, which is row 35, and then we'll do three more single crochet rows and then you repeat row 40. You're going to do that two more times, and then you do row 41, which would be the end of the second repeat. Once you do that, you're going to have um, the panel, which is going to be, this, this is considered one diamond. You're going to have one, two, three. You're going to have three diamonds wide, three completed diamonds wide um, for this section. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, show you what it looks like, and then I'll get back to it. Okay, I've completed my diamond stitch rows, and I wanted to show you that it's three diamonds wide, and just want you to understand what that means. So here's one diamond, two diamond, three diamonds. Now, also notice that I have a row of single crochet that I ended with, um, and that is another repeat of row 41, which is in your pattern. So if you just follow that as written, you should be fine. Um, and that would take you through row number 57. Okay, so just a you know, quick review. You have the arrows, the popcorn, the arrow set, the diamonds. Now, before I end this video, I need to give you an assignment. Okay, we're going to repeat rows 2 through 9 again. This will be for rows 58 through 65. So um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do another 
again, row two through nine, which would include the low front ridge, the arrow rows, two rows of single crochet, and then the two rows of the low front ridge. So this officially ends video number three. I'll join you at the beginning of video number four to show you what I have. And we'll continue on with the really fun part, the popcorn heart central feature. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye.